Hi everyone, this is your partner in business and personal growth, FCPA John Mudanye. Welcome, Karibu. Welcome to this channel. Thank you so much again for tuning in again to our channel. Really, really grateful and thank you most profoundly for this opportunity. Today, again, I'm with Dr. Mudanye, consultant pediatrician, and I thought we should discuss this thing that affects the babies and the mothers and we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic it reminded me why did i think about this topic i'm talking about breastfeeding you know as young people growing in africa and in kenya as a young child born to a very young mother who had not known much uh i was fed on uh, mashed potatoes and porridge and you know the, that thing didn't even have sugar didn't have anything so it was so bad so my mother would block my nose and i tried to get oxygen i gulp i gulp i gulp i gulp the porridge and uh, i still remember today uh how i got choked one time and coughed until porridge came out of my nose and today i'm with dr mudaji tell us about the importance of breastfeeding how should we breastfeed should children be breastfed or should we buy cereal like lactogen mashed potatoes and porridge and feed them Dr. welcome so much i know this is you're very passionate about children uh by the way dr medium dani is a phd holder from university of women tokyo Women university in japan uh she's also consultant pediatrician uh got her uh bachelor of science from university a bachelor of medicine from university of nairobi master of medicine from university of nairobi and phd from tokyo japan mm -hmm. and currently she's the ceo of help reach africa and also uh the chair of council of kisi university uh but passionate about public health uh, running this uh, organization help reach africa that focuses on uh Really, HIV, AIDS, public health, uh, and breastfeeding is one of them. Karibu sana, Daktari. Just welcome, mm -hmm. and please take us through this. Is breastfeeding still relevant today? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, FCPA. John Mudani, uh, my husband. I'm glad to join your channel and just talk about a subject I think I'm very, very passionate about. Uh, that is breastfeeding. Um, Breastfeeding is something that uh, we all want to talk about because of the importance of the same. Um, breastfeeding is that act of putting a baby to the breast to be able to suckle and be able to get breast milk and feed on the same. Now, uh, there are a lot of benefits of breastfeeding, but I just want to start by saying that we all need to encourage our mothers to do what we call exclusive breastfeeding, for the first six months of life from so six zero, months only only milk only yeah from feed. zero to six months only breast milk mm. and it is enough okay uh, i know there are a lot of people who uh, have other ideas and they think that that is not enough for the baby and i do remember myself when i got uh, my firstborn um my mother-in-law was like oh a boy child cannot be full with breast milk only and uh, we better introduce uji we better introduce this and that but i said no what the reality is is that what the baby needs is only breast milk for the first six months and every mother has enough breast milk for her baby within those six months. And it will be able to provide enough nutrition for the baby. So we encourage all mothers to do this and you will watch and see just how healthy your baby is going to become. So I'm going to just briefly talk about the benefits of breastfeeding uh, to the baby. You know, there's a lot of benefit. The breast milk is available because the mother is there and the breast milk is just at the right temperature so you don't need to heat it you don't need to cool it when you put the baby there it comes and it's just at the right temperature normally when the baby is born right from birth uh, there is already a provision for that milk to come when you put the baby on the breast to breastfeed that act of suckling brings down the milk what we call the milk letdown reflex and that is caused by a hormone called oxytocin so the milk the, as, as soon as the baby puts the 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 mouth in the um, uh, gets grasp the nipple and grasp the breast to be able to breastfeed the baby's uh, 
that that act brings down the milk and there is enough milk for the baby to suckle and there are a lot of benefits let me say that uh, having that milk at the right temperature is already a very good benefit the other thing is that that milk is has all the nutrients that a baby needs that early uh the the things that a baby needs the the nutrients the antibodies everything that the baby requires at that age is within that milk and it is good the other thing is that that milk is in a form that is digestible uh so the baby can digest it well compared for example to the cow milk i know there are people who as soon as a mother delivers they start looking for which cow uh, has delivered in the neighborhood and they start looking for milk to buy so that they can give the baby that milk but i always say this the milk from the cow is for the cow's baby the milk from me and from my, from the mothers is for the baby of that mother. So you better use your breast milk if you're a mother for your baby instead of starting to look for milk from the neighborhood, from the cows uh, and giving your baby. Why? Because breast milk, the human breast milk is in a digestible form. Uh, the cow milk is there. It is milk, yes, but a good part of it is not digested. It has a type of protein called casein. It is not easily digestible by the newborn and the baby may take it and it will have other problems. It will cause diarrhea, it will cause respiratory illnesses and the baby will not grow as well as the baby who is on exclusive breastfeeding. So that milk of the baby is in the best way uh, for digestion and we encourage you to do uh, breastfeeding uh, from the mother. Uh, the other benefit is that there is bonding. As a baby is breastfeeding, there is good bonding between the mother and the baby. There is a way that we recommend, and I wish I was able to demonstrate all this, uh, but there is a way in which the baby should be held so that the baby is looking straight into the eyes of the mother and the mother is looking straight into the eyes of the baby. And as the mother holds the baby in such a way that the arm literally supports the back of the baby and there's what we call like ventral to ventral yes, attachment how, how yeah you put it so, it, um, so how, i don't have a baby but i can try and uh, and do something like this supposing this was a baby you try mm. and hold in such again. a way that you support mm. the baby's back completely mm. and uh, the the head on the neck of the baby mm. is resting on your elbow mm. and the baby is lying there and you kind of support completely and the baby's stomach is leaning on the mother's stomach mm. and that is what we call like ventral to ventral attachment mm. and when the baby is breastfeeding what is supposed to happen is that the baby should not just take the nipple the baby should take the nipple plus the areola areola is that dark area around mm. the nipple and when the baby mm. grasps that well mm. then the milk comes down well mm. uh, when you ba the baby only picks on the nipple mm. the breastfeeding doesn't happen well because um, the, the, that's not where the milk ducts are. Mm. So the baby needs to grasp both the nipple and the uh, part of the areola. And mm. when the so baby... So do, do you put the whole... The whole you push inside the mouth or out as Yeah, you the help baby. the baby mm. so that the baby is not just grasping only the nipple, mm. but also taking a part of the duck part. So but some babies bite and then mothers feel pain and they want to throw the baby away. How no, do you no. make sure the baby doesn't bite? Because it's so painful. Uh, well, uh, let's start from the baby who is just born has no mm. teeth. So mm. there's no biting at that stage. The biting comes a little earlier okay. and perhaps we'll deal with it. But should that happen to us, answer you, uh, there's a way in which you now touch the chin of the baby mm. to kind of help the baby release the mm. breast. When you touch the chin, mm. kind of the baby releases the breast okay. at that point when the baby is biting. Okay. And that is more for the baby who is now beginning to grow older and maybe is beginning to teeth mm. and is beginning to grasp that nipple as a way of grinding or, or rubbing on the teeth uh, that is coming up and maybe having certain sensations, right? So um, the, 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 the holding and the positioning of the baby for the breastfeeding is very, very important. Mm. And uh, also the, the, the latch, the connection to the nipple is very important nipple plus areola so that enough milk comes in and that way the baby will be able to get enough milk and be able to breastfeed well if a baby is breastfeeding and you hear some sound that goes like mm. now that means the baby has not latched properly mm. yeah there should be no sound you should only hear the sound of swallowing of milk mm. but if you're hearing some sound like mm. the baby has not latched properly so mm. you need to connect again, help that mother or the mother help herself mm. to make the baby connect well to the nipple so that the baby is able to take both the nipple and the areola and breastfeed well. Now, breastfeeding brings bonding. 
This bonding that you see that is like for a lifetime between mothers and their children. This starts from pregnancy to the breastfeeding. And breastfeeding in particular brings a lot of bonding. Because as the baby is breastfeeding, as the baby is breastfeeding, then you find that the, the, the mother is looking at the baby, the baby is looking at the mother. The, the baby is also able to kind of feel the heartbeat of the mother. That's also good for the mental health of the baby. As the baby is breastfeeding, the baby is actually hearing the, 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 the heartbeat of the mother, and that is also very good for mental development. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to know that the milk that comes, the first two weeks of life, that milk that is very thick, I know some communities even take it and discard it and say it is bad milk that is the best milk that is like the mm. first immunization to the baby that milk is rich in antibodies mm. and if a baby takes it then the baby is actually very healthy mm. it's like you have given the first immunization to the baby it through looks that breast it looks yellow it looks yellow it is thick mm. and it is very very good for the baby so that is not for discarding that is what the baby needs and it is really imparting a lot of him uh, uh antibodies to the baby and it's very good that has been been very very important hearing from the doctor about breastfeeding this has been part one of the benefits of breastfeeding and we've just had the benefits of uh, uh, of breastfeeding to the baby and the first milk as the doctors passionately explained to us we will stop there this part one and we'll have another part two and we want to invite you to join us as we do part two of the benefits of breastfeeding now touching on the mother uh, that is really 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 something you need to know so that you don't do the way the mother did to me some years back mm -hmm. please remember to subscribe press subscribe mm -hmm. send your comment so that the doctor can also comment and watch for the second video part two mm -hmm. of this very very important learning from the expert the consultant pediatrician herself, Dr. Professor Milan Mudani, talking about breastfeeding. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank